Welcome everyone back to my channel. This is Lindsay and I have a marketplace video for you today. It is short but sweet. Three journals from Helen Bruno. And let me grab my her box here. Um, Helen is from New Jersey and she has three gorgeous, I think they're nature themed journals. And she made me these little paper clips aren't they beautiful and she did the packaging and all of that so thank you these are gorgeous love them so she sent me that we have three journals that we're going to go through today these are available in the marketplace section of my website if you're interested in purchasing them the link is down below this one is called dragonfly dance we have a purple ribbon for the closure Look at the details on this. There's a little label here. And then look at what she's wrapped around the buttons and charms. There's a flower. Here's a little beaded dragonfly. Isn't that pretty? Metal book corners. It's a repurposed book. Even the back, look at that, has little pockets that you can tuck notes in. There's some dangles coming off the top and um, goodies out the bottom as well. So let's take a look inside. Some pretty ferns. That looks like a cut out card or something. That's really pretty. Lots of pretty colors. The binding is a little shaky, a little wonky. I think it's sturdy though. I'll let you know if anything looks loose, but the colors in here are really pretty. Lots of nature themes. Lots of birds and leaves and different papers. This would be really pretty if you really love that mix of different papers. So I'm looking at the binding here in the middle. It seems to be quite sturdy. Nothing seems to be coming out. It's not perfectly straight and there's a lot of um, washi tape and or ribbons and things glued in between the pages and stuff. I don't know, um, but it does not seem to be falling out. So I think we're good. Pretty, pretty pictures. We even have some little pretty tuck spots. Places to write. It could be a fun glue book as well. It's a little bag with card in there as well. Really pretty. That cover though, oh, so pretty. Two signatures, 176 pages for Dragonfly Delight. And then next we have Melody of Life. It's a little smaller, isn't that pretty with the music? There's a saxophone on the front. This fell off earlier too. I'm gonna grab my glue and glue it right back on. Mail, putting things through the mail, oh my word. It's just things do not like to stay. They have such a rough ride through the mail, but that's what my extra glue is for. No worries. We have little tassels. Look at the little music, the treble clefts. Okay, that does not want to stay. Add a little extra glue. I'm going to actually set this aside and let that dry while we look at the other one and we'll be right back to it. So here is Nature's Rhapsody. Chunky little thing with a decoupage napkin on front. Look at that really pretty flower. Oh, look at that beaded, looks like um, leaves or a vine. Even on the back, look at that. So this is the binding and I'm not really sure what it is. I don't know if it's three signatures. 
how she exactly did that. But if you love a chunky journal, this is chunky. Repurposed book cover. So again, the binding is a little um, on the wonky side. But like I said, everything seems tight and nothing seems to be falling out. This is pretty. Look at these little colors. These greens and browns, very nature-like. Beautiful butterflies. Even little bits of leaves. This would kind of be uh, pretty as a nature diary. Of course, like a glue book. I love these little paper clips down the side there. So many little bits and pieces. Lots to look at. Different size pages makes it fun. Get the leaf, the skeleton leaf back there. Very delicate, I'll be careful with that. Really pretty. I just love that, that is so pretty. Okay, so we have that one. And then hopefully this has had a second to dry and we will open it up and look inside. So I think this is nature and music themed. We've got blues, music. Just little bits and pieces that make it very unique. Little bag. The binding's a little bit better on this one. Well, yeah, it is definitely better. Learning to bind into a hardcover book, it's difficult. And the ones when I started out, <laughs> they were wonky too. And I'm sure that goes for all of us. We just keep practicing. And the one thing I love about these is she managed to get them super tight, which is wonderful. The burlap, the blues are really pretty in here. Now, actually, this signature is a little wobbly, but it's not too bad. Lots of great creativity. As you can see here, it is pulling out of the back. So be careful with that. Um, maybe if you're good at binding, you could uh, rebind it because it is truly a sweet little thing. So Helen, thank you so much for sharing your creativity with us. Keep working on your binding. Your creativity skills are already way up there. Keep working on your binding. I hope we get to see more of your work. I love the little details and touches you put on your journals. Thank you for giving me the honor and opportunity to sell your beautiful work. And these are all available in the marketplace. And I will see all of you in the next video, tomorrow, not tomorrow, Tomorrow we have a restock and then Friday starts our February challenge journals. So excited to show you what has come in for those. And that will be an exciting uh, video and probably a couple videos on that because I did get quite a few journals in. And make sure you're working on your March journals. Um, here again is the details for the March journals. Dancing Dahlias, Strokes of Nature, Bright Soul, Vintage Music, Flower Pages, and Music Blooms. You have to choose at least three of those. No blank pages, tight binding, and then you get 70% commission. Will be filmed and listed starting March 31st, and I need to receive them all by March 30th. So um, I will see all of you in the next video, and I wish you all a wonderful, happy, and crafty day.